Hello, my name is Jukani Quills and welcome back to another episode of Parkasaurus. As promised last episode, I kept playing a little, updated a bunch of stuff, unlocked a bunch of things even though I have more science than I know what to do with. Uh, and of course, that means, and I need these gems, that we have dinosaurs to put in that are carnivores. Now the first ones we want to do are the velociraptors, of course, and the OVs, and the albertosaurus. Now, I think all of the dinos we have so far are medium-sized. Oh. Did not mean to do that. Anyway, medium-sized, I think. Exactly. Uh, which means they need that much, so if I have my ideas correct, we should only need a relatively small uh, enclosure for the velociraptors. So let's make like a little place for people to actually see them and then continue with the rest as privacy fencing. Let's go that far and that should be a-okay. Maybe. Possibly. Anyway, this pine tree is gonna go away. And we are going to put in our Velociraptor eggs. They're desert dinos. Uh, so there's that. They're small. And being desert dinos means we need the terrain or sand. Uh, and no, the tiles that are in aren't the sand they need, I don't think. Yeah, look, there's a, a little difference between them. So this would be a desert, right? Yep, and that's what they need. Yes? Good. So we'll have to see uh, how they feel about the exhibit. Now, I hope they... The stegos don't kill my my egg there. And I'm going to ignore the portal because honestly I'm not going to continue this save, not until there is a Linux version. Just out of curiosity. <laughs> what happens if I put the plant in? So uh, if I wasn't clear before, this slot, the green one, affects the color of the dino when you put a thing in. While well, these two affect the traits of the dino, if I go back to our Triceratops and I pick the one that is different, uh, possibly not this one, but this one, care info, scariness, Oh, it's this one. Ah, here it is. Shy doesn't like crowded places. And I also put a fedora <laughs> on him because when you go here and you check the dino book, you'll see you have these kind of sort of quests and they give you rewards. That's how I got uh, a few of the eggs. Like if I put a Cantrosaurus in, I'm going to get another egg for something else, which I'm not going to do, to be honest. So now I just have to wait on the eggs and immediately get this this dino um, tranquilized as soon as it hatches and back in the inventory because that really was an accident. Well, these people are having trouble seeing things. Right, other things that have been unlocked like the research facility was upgraded like twice. So it has three scientists now. We have actual bathrooms. This out, these outhouses have updates. So let's... Like, this is very nice. If you unlock a better version of the thing, you can just upgrade your existing ones. Except for the, si the info signs. Like, these are the normal info signs, right? Uh, but... This is an info sign D. Like, that is an A. Like, I, I can show you in the decorations. Uh, one of these. Maybe not here. 
here. No, it's decorations. Yes. Right, there they are. So here we go. There's info sign A, info sign B, and info sign D. I think the difference might just be aesthetics. I'm not sure. We also want like fountains and stuff. I just haphazardly put them in just so guests have things to do. This is the science gate. When guests pass under it, it gives science. It's kind of kind of weird how that works. Okay, so let's go ahead and get our Albertosaurus tranquilized. Oh, it's so cute though. Look at it. Our first meat eater. Though it's going to go in the inventory as soon as possible. Our velociraptors are almost done. Which is great. Come on. Please don't kill the baby. We need to save him. Oh, it does. Stellan, probably a male. So let's pop open our velociraptors. Oh, look how cute they are! The tiniest of tiny dinos, but they are not happy with their exhibit, which understandable so they need a tiny bit of water and the day is going to be over soon but we're still going to do that so tiny little bit of water maybe yeah yeah we'll get food in the morning don't you worry oh speaking of feeders uh, very important uh, to have their little meat feeder so there you go, so that they, they can eat now. And uh, let's just continue giving them water until it's possible. Interesting how these two haven't filled in with water. But we can use the smart water tool to just fill it fill them in. So there we go. That that should gather on the nooks and crannies. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so it's almost there. No, too much water. Okay, 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 don't... Don't you worry. Where's the flatten? Here it is. Can we... I just wanna... There goes the... Like, right now I'm just making insane amount of money. I don't even care about money anymore. That, that's how far we've come. I really wish it didn't uh, reset my rotation when the day ends. So let's keep doing that until the wetness levels are okay. Oh, uh, sort of. Don't think they want this water at all. Okay, that seems to be more or less what they want. And they also require some ruggedness, so let's grab our smart terrain and get on with it. A little differential on the terrain. Velociraptors. So we're trying to add to the ruggedness of the terrain. Yeah. Uh, right here. Yeah. Perfect. So they should now be very happy with their biome. Yeah, what they need is like the plants and stuff. So let's get to it. Let's see what we have. Uh, acacia, coconut trees. I like acacias. Just 
put them somewhere a little bit more uh, shaded and let's grab like a coconut tree just to put it this way now oh coconut trees have a peculiarity uh, in that they dip over the water so that the coconuts then fall and get swept away by currents to other things. Well, that's a bug. But bushes, right? Uh, honey ears. Oh, so cute. Let's add it. There we go, that's good enough. Now what it mostly needs is rocks. Lots and lots of rocky goodness. Let's go ahead with that then. Just add them here and there. It's all good. And there we are. So how do they feel about this? Exhibit is too small. Right, why? Because they need 350, which means um, 700 square feet? Oh, missing quite a, f quite a few feet, so um, let's actually expand. So that would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Damn it! That's my count. But anyway, it should be about there. So, okay. I actually made that exhibit like big enough for them. Way too big. Uh, I'm a derp. How's that? That's a 200 something square feet one. This is a 300 something. That's a okay. So let's fill it up with sand. Wish there was a fill exhibit button or something. So there's our desert. Let's remove. Everything. I really hate this delete tool. Like so bad. Alright. Let's delete that one manually on our own. So now we gotta change the um, biome again so that the poor velociraptors uh, have a better exhibit. I also need to... actually no, it's about the end of the day, so I'm not gonna bother. Generally I have enough um, plants coming in to fill the feeder for the day and uh, then the next day they get another load and the feeder gets filled again. So that's how I'm dealing with that. Anyway, this Come on, sometimes double clicking the floor opens the exhibit pane properly, sometimes it's stubborn. So we're gonna grab the smart water again. We're going to just drop a bunch of it here and see where it uh, ends up. Okay, so it made another lake there. Let's add like a little bit more of it. Again, see where it pulls. And uh, maybe nowhere. Or maybe it pulls a little bit here. Because there's a depression. Yep. Okay, so that's, that's a little bit more water. Let's add a small lake here. That was too much. So, we'll cut up a bit. What do you mean, Savannah? Counted up too much wetness then. Can we Oh 
Okay, I don't get why it's uh, doing that. So apparently now we have too much water. So uh, I had to take a break uh, between last segment and this one. And I built this entire Oviraptor exhibit without realizing that OBS wasn't recording. But anyway, yes, we have Oviraptors. Look how cute they are. That is so cute. Then their exhibit is a taiga exhibit. And it is pretty nice, if I do say so myself. I uh, might want to add a few donation boxes, both for them and for the raptors, velociraptors. Where are the donation boxes again? Right here. Very good. So, uh, why is that guest crying? That was odd. Like right now I'm not really worried about money anymore because like I said at this point in the game money is just showered upon me like at this point what we want is hearts we want to make happy dinos that give us hearts so that we can unlock more stuff one thing I do want to add here is this is the garbage bin there we go we'll add a garbage bin right here so people can do, I was saying during the segment that I wish those pop-ups would have a timeout uh, instead of staying over there. But uh, now we only have one carnivore species to take care of and we are going to do so right now on camera as the last thing we do for Parkosaurus until such a time there is that the Linux build comes out. Yes? Good? Yes, I think so too. But let's go. Well, I want a little bit of a observation deck. Well, not really an observation deck, just a place for them to observe. Some place for the dinos to have a rest. And some place, again, for observation. Now this exhibit was is a bit too big, it's like a uh, thousand square feet and those are small dinos. So if I do this, I should have more than enough for the Albertosaurus, which I think are medium dinos. Uh, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, the first one that I'm going to put in here is going to be the egg. Yep, they're medium sized dinos and they require mud. So mud is terrain. We grab this one, so it kind of matches with with the dinos we have over here. And I keep forgetting that unlike the fence, the terrain tool doesn't go click, move, click again. Which is kind of weird. Okay, so tile, mud, biome, swamp. So we're good there. So now, I don't know what they like. I know they eat meat and there are medium dinos, so we can go ahead and add a large ribcage. Ooh. Let's add one of these and uh, see how it goes. It's actually cool, so people should like it. We're going to add a little flat rock shelter. That's not what I want to do. This was... Okay good. So that will be it for exhibit objects. I'm going to grab my one Albertosaurus that got knocked out. <laughs> Poor thing. It does like uh, its exhibit. Guests don't have a path to it, which is normal since I didn't build one. <laughs> uh, but I'll, I'll just draw the path just up, up to here. I need an undo button, please. Please give me an undo button. Now oh, that's gonna bother me, and I'm gonna have to fix it. Oh well. Well, it's gonna be it there, and it here. Press Alt to remove pa- oh. Yes, that, that might be helpful. Eventually. Anyway, path. They can see the dinos. That's good. Oh, so... We're gonna need some organs and some water, but first we are going to go with the 
decorative objects or rocks. Uh, we want uh, blue and red crystals even there. Uh, four, five, and one here. One more. And another one. There we go. Now bushes, 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 bushes. Yes, I know. Said I know. Fern, 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 fern. And can I see the thing? Yes, thank you. Fern, 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 fern. And this. For trees, which they need the least of, I'm just gonna go with some tree stumps, which need water for some random reason. Some of these, a little bit more here because this corner is looking real empty. And finally, one or two more green trees. That'll be fine. Okay, so that's nice. Now, terrain. Well, we are going to get that smart terrain coming. I uh, forgot to add gates. I always forget the gates for some reason. Uh, does this one have gates? No. Uh, let's add a gate here and a gate there. That's good. So this one does... <laughs> uh, there we go. Please feed the dinosaurs. <laughs> it's quite necessary. Okay, uh, wetness. But first we are going to do ruggedness, so... Down, up, down, up, down. Why is that not adding to the ruggedness? And down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up. Just trying to get to a level of ruggedness that they might accept. Because afterwards, what I will do is just use the smart water tool to get water to pull all over this place. Okay, that's pretty good. Now let's just fill it with water. And we'll see how that goes. In terms of wetness, it should have more than enough places to pull. Let's look. And see. Just a little bit more. Tiny bit more. And let's take a look. Once the water flows uh, out enough, <laughs> that's the problem with using the smart water tool. It's just you, you're gonna get water flowing everywhere. That's fine. The day is over, of course. Wonder if that makes the water settle down faster. Nope. Still needs a little bit of a spot. That's okay, some of it has settled down. Don't think it's quite ready to count though, and here's our delivery getting made. <laughs> Did you see that? This isn't the race cart. Ah. Oh. 
look at the little lakes that uh, were created. Now we have too much wetness. That's also pretty typical. Uh, so let's flatten it here. And we have to wait for this to go before it counts. It's kind of weird how things get counted. And they want swamp, but not too wet of a swamp, I suppose. Let's uh, remove this entire little lake. That should be something. Ah, the water takes forever to spread. Come on, finish spreading. Because until it does, it's hard to quantify. We're definitely not having enough ruggedness now. Yeah, good. Nice. So let's finish that lake off. That should be enough. Let's see. Yep, now it's, it's ruggedness. Ah, dear God. Can you... Please... Accept my rugged terrain... As an offering. I think we're good. I think we're more or less good. And that is the Albertosaurus exhibit. Albertosaurus exhibit. Well, only Albertosaurus then, apparently. <laughs> okay, let's see what, what's up with this guest. Uh, shoes. Decoration. Ah, oh, right, because things here are a little bit off. But uh, yeah, well, this part could definitely continue on. Let's just uh, unlock a few things. Uh, so that you see like the silly amounts of science that I have right now. Just unlock all the things, because why not? I said why not. There we go, Cinder Factory, Iron Chef, Unpack. Limp and park size factory. So, this is all of the science done, and now there's no more use for science. Yeah, yeah. Hearts are where the real difficulty is at. Even though with uh, 55 hearts, we could unlock Ornithopoda and forest pack here. Yeah, mall guard security, but see, now I'm back down to six and I have to wait to unlock more there and yeah, these, these are the real killers. But until such time that there is a Linux build that is Parkosaurus, you have more than enough information to see if you would like to get it for yourself. I do think it is worth uh, the money, even though I, of course, got a press key from the developer. I think it's worth the money, you should get it. There are frequent and good updates. The economy is going to be balanced, the devs have promised us that. And other features are going to be improved and changed and tweaked. And overall, if you have that tycoon itch, this is... Uh, that, not that tycoon, that zoo tycoon itch. This is a good replacement. So, until next time, this is Vinder Chronicles. Remember, here, there be dragons. Thank you so much to my patrons for making this channel possible. Click the Patreon logo to become one of these fine folk. And if you enjoyed the video, here are some more YouTube things you would like. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Have a lovely day, and I'll see you next time.